Mr. Allen. What are you doing here? Well, I came to say good morning to my son. Don't you try anything, or I'll call the police. Well, can't a father see a son off to school? No tricks, J.R., I mean it. Hey, son. Dad! <laughs> How you doing, son? How you doing? Okay. I missed you. Yeah, I missed you, too. Sweetheart, you're going to be late for your bus. Hey, what's going on here? Somebody been beating up on you? It's nothing. Well, it doesn't look like nothing to me. I did a real dumb thing at school. Open the door in my face. Yeah? Have your teeth been checked? They're okay. Well, I hope so. Otherwise, somebody's going to get sued. He's perfectly fine, and he's going to miss his bus. I'm talking to my boy. Don't interrupt me. Well, now, you look bigger than the last time I saw you. Hey, come on. It hasn't been that long. <laughs> it seems like it, though, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, let me see if I got this right now. Um, Christopher has been asking when you're coming home. And your grandma and Clayton send their love, and so does Bobby, and, uh, well, I guess you know I'm back home at South Fork. Yeah, Chris told me. Yeah. Oh, that's great. You don't realize how great it is until you've been away for a while. JR. Huh? Sweetheart, you are gonna miss your bus. I guess I gotta go. All right, so. You be a good boy, and I'll come visit you real soon. You will? Yeah, you can count on it. Bye, then. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Bye, See you later. You let me know the next time you're coming out here. So you can make sure that he won't be here? No, I don't think so, Sue Ellen. You are truly despicable. Coming here and filling his head with how great it is to be back at South Fork. Sue Ellen, if John Ross is unhappy living here with you, that's not my fault. Now, you call yourself a loving mother, and yet you keep him away from the very place he wants to be. I call that selfish. Downright selfish. Mm -hmm.